Good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on July 7th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another daily video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out here with our sun. Looking at uh, some coronal hole activity affecting us, but also a small sunspot forming in southern regions there. Bottom side of the sun, you'll see and a coronal hole building in front of it. So coronal holes are the big story this week as the sun is not producing much energy at all. Still some beautiful images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Appreciate all accredited researchers and developers beautiful images here stay aware and prepared we will have some space weather affecting us with that coronal hole in the coming days also watching here on the Enra spiral showing a backside CME firing off about to hit Venus in the next couple of days we will be in the coronal hole stream as well as aligned with Saturn. So stay aware and prepared because we could see, most likely will see an increase in seismicity and volcanism from around the world. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Largest being the 6.9 this morning overnight in Indonesia. And it was at a 35 kilometer depth, a couple aftershocks, and then moving northeast to the Marianas Trench, then to Alaska with a 4.3. And then, of course, we're still watching a lot of aftershocks in Ridgecrest, California. Stay aware and prepared. Please have a play in, everybody. This event is not over. And I've talked about it for a few days now. July 9th will be a big day on our planet. 4.6 here in Bolivia at a 239-kilometer depth. So we're starting the deep earthquake movements again. But I guess largest earthquake being the 6.9. As well, yesterday with the 7.1 in California and the day before with the 6.4. Day before that with a 6.2 in Canada. So there is a lot of action and this Walton earthquake 3D, 3D map won't even hold the amount of earthquakes that are on there. I'm trying to get the last seven days here right now, and it's not working. So pretty much they're probably just showing the last thousand earthquakes recorded or something. I'm not sure. But definitely, I want to thank all of my new subscribers, new friends and family from around the world. Thank you for joining the family. Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Overlooking satellite imagery of North America, you can see that large low pressure system over British Columbia, and that brought in all of the warm Pacific moisture and the thunderstorm threats and hail event yesterday throughout Alberta. Quite a supercell uh, storm that I filmed in time lapse. It's gotten quite a few views overnight. Be sure to check that out. Share with your friends. Uh, so across the southeastern United States, still watching the heat wave going on. So stay aware and prepared as you're going to have pop-up thunderstorms every day as the humidity level rises. And low pressure center develops just north of Florida. So watch in the coming days, there could be a tropical storm development in the Gulf of Mexico, just over Florida. Watching the five-day forecast, I will show you in just a moment. I wanted to show you NASA worldview, what our skies look like right now, and they are littered with clouds. Um, we have so much cloud cover from around the world. This here is remnants of Hurricane Barbara.
but atmospheric rivers, the, the clouds are just, there's so much rain falling around the world, and that's due to the increased cosmic rays during our collapsed magnetosphere. It increases nucleization of the clouds, which creates more rain. Overlooking Russia here with all the forest fires breaking out, you can see from space the smoke, all those red dots showing thermal and aerosol anomalies. And you overlook Africa, and we are very dry and smoky continent. And we still have not seen an Atlantic storm form off of Africa yet. So stay aware and prepared. We could see a nasty end to the Atlantic storm season. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, overlooking North America. Low-pressure center coming from the northwest over Alberta, heading into Ontario. will bring some severe weather events throughout Manitoba and Ontario. Southeastern United States, daily evaporation storms developing over the next five days. And then looking here, low pressure developing just west of Florida, heading into the Gulf. So stay aware and prepared. We could have another tropical storm. This could be the first Atlantic storm of the season. Overlooking Invest Area number 95E, and not going to be forming too much as well. Barbara, in the next two days, downgraded Barbara will be just scathing the Hawaiian Islands. Across Asia, the Pacific, West Pacific, still watching severe weather event create across China. I had warned it a couple days ago in a video saying that this event would be happening and still this forecast is showing torrential downpours, thunderstorms, most likely hail as well. We're going to be seeing some videos coming out here soon coming from China. Also watching a possible cyclone development in the Indian Ocean and then our southern hemisphere. Let's have a look-see at our southern hemisphere. So this low pressure system is set to spin in this area for the next three days, become a beast. And this is the same area where week after week, a huge, large low pressure system develops. Large and deep lower level troughs, creating atmosphere, rivers, around the planet. Stay aware and prepared. We are on the verge of a grand solar minimum, meaning a mini ice age. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.